Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tropico 4 in the third mission a petition in the spotlight. At the palace, insisting a drought, Presidente. Mother Nature is gently reminding us how many leaves... Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Droughts are annoying, but not really dangerous. Right, we have some high school education, which is good. So now I can set the literacy program. Build a mine. Comrade! Well sure, Comrade why not? Uh build a mine. Where can I build a mine? Build a mine right here. Close to the dock. And also I will build a fisherman's wolf. One of the buildings is on fire! No! Extinguish it. Extinguishing it like that is very expensive, because basically you hire a uh, helicopter to put it out. In general, you prefer to build one of the new buildings in Tropical 4, the fire station. But I didn't feel like doing that just yet, because that requires high school educated people. And we have so precious few of those. Right, let's give the high school rebel? a boost. Now, in Tropical 3, I usually got got by with just having a single high school because of the low level of population I usually had. In Tropical 4, that's not really gonna cut it anymore. You usually need at least two, if not more. And if you have a particularly good uh, Minister of Education, you might actually get events to get uh, some for free. Alright, so now we can finally get some help from the USSR. Dear Tropicans, join me in taking a moment of silence, because I have a horrible hangover from a girl's night out at the cocktail bar last night. In unrelated news, Penultimo is suffering from a moderate concussion caused by blinking too loud near me. Excellent work, Presidente! Now the tourists have attractions to keep them entertained and happy. This will reflect positively on the tourism rating of our island. We will need to build more attractions to maximize our profits. In addition, more accommodations will bring more tourists on our island. Remember that the commodity prices are extremely low on Cara Libro, and we need to invest in tourism to make money. Right, increased entertainment, that is what I am intending to do. But I also will need a church. And more housing, let's unlock the uh, tenement, or the apartment block. Right. Presidente. Your venture into the tourism industry is commendable, but still too small. You need to build more. <coughs> you need to build more accommodations and attractions. That is the only way to make the tourism industry profitable enough to sustain your island. I have drafted a UN grant for the development of tourism on Cara Libro. We will pay for your next hotel. Build a new hotel. Oh, sure, why not? If they're free, I want it. Earthquake, no. One garage. The earthquake is over, President A. Why is it always the garages that have to die? What have they ever done to you? Terrible news, Presidente. Isla de Haro has been hit by another earthquake. Some miners have been trapped below ground again. In light of this new disaster, we should not expect any more money from Isla de Hierro. By surviving an earthquake rate of 96 on the Richter magnitude scale. And here I thought that earthquakes can't be stronger than 10. They sure can. Here's hoping our next earthquake breaks our own record with a three-digit number. <laughs> Silly penultimo. 
Yeah, well, oh. peace and love, dear Presidente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. complain Please. all you want. Uh, day one. The good God-fearing sure, U.S. Fine. citizens like. We're making coffee, so that's absolutely fine. Secret police. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see. I have five spare people for my unemployment. That's not going to be enough. Uh, Sir, no. I, the military I do not want to put uneducated people into the army. That would diminish their effectiveness. I believe is the uh, regular retort from the military when they have to accept conscription. Rather than having a professional army. Alright, let's... That's a very ugly position, but it should work. Let's see, they're overall unhappy about pretty much everything, but for now we will work. Alright, let's get a few more tenements up. At least one. How long before that vanishes? Four more months. Alright, then we'll need a clinic. I hope that none of my uh, college-educated males have died. Right. Let's slow the uh, incoming flow of workers for a bit. And get a police station going. No. Right then. I'll need a marketplace. And some more tenements. Yeah, that looks nice, nice and ugly. Right, let's get all, let's let all that finished building actually. Now has more than one hundred citizens. Nope. A small step for the world, a giant leap for tropical. All right, so where were all those pastures? All right, any up here? Nope. So where do I want? Pastures. Let's put a few down here. Oh, that's farms. Let's uh, get some cattle going. See if we can perhaps get some money from the Middle East. If they want beef. And well, of course we can also eat it. Right, so how's our tourism rating going? Let's 64%. That's nice. They complain that we don't have any shopping, gambling, banking, or cabarets. Well, that's pretty much accurate, so... I don't fault them for their observational abilities. Alright, the high school is full. There, let's also get a crate school going. And we need to wait another eight months. Yeah, I don't see any real need to uh, get anything else going just yet. Export salt. Comrade, I have oh, a sure. Why not? Salt is cheap enough. Uh, where is a salt mine? Ah, right here in the back. Uh, sure. We'll talk about religion. We'll praise ourselves. 
And we promise adequate housing. Hola, Tropico! The importance of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still push forward. There are long lines in front of confessionals. We shall not deny that. However, the reasons are as clear as day. The militarists' tantrums are not helping us address these issues. Still, as Presidente, I have worked hard day and night, done quite a job to ensure my worth for the responsibility you have bestowed on me. Gracias, amigos. No one can deny the amazing development that is happening tropical within just one mandate. I have an even more astonishing future in store for all of you. I promise you that in my next term, people will no longer have to live in shacks. Our blood has won the power. Only by blood will we lose it. What is it now? Right, so we now have some police going. And the marketplace, which is important if we ever want to get the Minister of Economy. And a police station for the Minister of Interior. <coughs> I can also put down uh, banks, of course, but that requires college educated people. That's a little bit uh, too high level for us. At the moment, we really just need to focus on the current expansion. And see to it that the uh, the rest of our tourism industry gets finished. And maybe some more food supply. Right. Is there anything else I can do? Cause I kind of want to prepare for what I want to do here, but all of this requires a Minister of Economy, so I can't see what I need, what else I need. Exactly. Right, so I'll need, at least need a TV station. And a Minister of Economy. Well, let's, let's see about finishing the building of uh, whatever else I've left. And uh my no, dear I'm win this. Right. Occupancy in just twenty-three shacks on the island. We want more health care, sure. President, relations between the USSR and China have soured. Both countries are arguing which form of communism is better. They are looking for allies and we need to respond. Uh well, Uh, the Russian coming in is better. Uh, I want President, to do this. May your children be... Just really need stuff to finish building. Right, now we can do this. Come on, build, build, build. And let's prepare for the future. Now mind you, I don't know if this is an efficient way to build this, but it seems to have worked for me in the past.
So let's give that a try. And we're out of high school workers Are again. Are you a rebel? Let's see, economy-wise, we have 24 unemployed. Alright, let's just fini f finish all the other buildings that I have going. So we can get rid of all these shacks, which are reducing the island's... Uh, Beauty. What about beauty? Well, it's fine over here. It could be better. Definitely don't want to build anywhere where it's red. That is still not finished? Alright, finish that. Come on. More criminals. Alright, I need a police station over here. I want to say something about the new cabaret on the island. Miss Pineapple, I assure you, it was built for educational purposes only. I just wanted people to know that my show starts at 8. And you will address me as Mistress Pineapple Panatimo. <laughs> right, that should make the tourism, tourists feel much more safe. But I will need to deal with all those criminals that are starting to accumulate on my island. That happens when you don't have quite enough jobs for everyone. Uh, yeah, let's finish those. Let's reduce the load on everyone's backs. They want the cathedral, they can kiss my ass. <coughs> I mean, they can wait patiently for the Presidente's time. Build two more apartments, so why not? Make the communists like me a little bit better. Because after all, I don't want the USSR to invade me. I actually know that the road is where it should be. Alright, so this is going to be the hub. And we're going to build loads and loads of apartments around centers around this area. With a market district in the center. Alright, entertainment is going up. What are the people unhappy about? Religion, quality, and the environment. Alright. The environment I can do something about. Religion, quality, well... We have enough priests, so perhaps another church probably would do the trick. We have almost enough. Nope. Because I'm not building any factories. So no canned goods for you. And there goes the salt. Build a weapons factory. There no. is an opportunity here. Uh, you will do. Economy-wise, I still can't do anything. All right, anti-litter ordinance, please. And I need another restaurant because it's tiny and convenient, which also means I need a college.
Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.